Good day, listeners. Thank you for tuning in to Verdict TV. The news headline. Nigerian army drops strong message for Tinubu few hours after EFCC chairman's suspension. Welcome once again. But well, please do well to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. For the news details, endeavor to listen to the end. The Army Chief of Staff, LT General Farouk Yahaya, has pledged full allegiance to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's government. It was reported that the Army Lieutenant, Lieutenant General gave assurances at the inauguration of some projects of the Nigerian Army Government Secondary School in Malum Fashi, Kastina State, on Tuesday. The project involved two blocks, each with four classrooms, two social rooms, a conference room, and classroom furnitures. Yahaya said in a speech that the military will remain professional to ensure the president realizes, pardon, realizes his vision of a safe country. The chief of the army said, I pledge our absolute loyalty to the commander-in-chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria Armed Forces, Bolatinumbu, as we continue to professionally ensure that he realizes his vision of a secure Nigeria in a manner that is socially economic activities can go on, thrive. Yahaya said the projects aim to create a conducive learning environment for students. He added that the Nigerian army will continue to provide non-kinetic support in all areas, including healthcare and infrastructure in the communities where the officers serve, in order to strengthen ties with those communities and Nigerians' overall development. Earlier, it has been previously reported that the president suspended Bawa the EFCC chairman to allow a proper investigation into allegations of abuse of power against him. A statement from the chief information officer at the office of the Minister of the Federation Government, SGF, said, This follows serious allegations of abuse of power against him. Mr. Bauer was instructed to immediately transfer the affairs of his office to the Director of Commission Operations, who will oversee the affairs of the Office of the President of the Commission pending the completion of the investigation. Immediately after the suspension of Bihohar, he summoned Bauer for questioning. A source said he was previously questioned at the facility, popularly known as the Yellow House, about his alleged activities while serving on the committee. Although none of the allegations were mentioned in the statement, reliable sources said that Tenumbu and those close to him were angry, among other things about Bawa's role in former President Momotu Burari's NERA repair policy. Now, the Nigeria Army has dropped a strong message for Tinumbu. Few hours after Tinumbu suspended the EFCC chairman, Bawa, the Nigerian the Army Chief of Staff has said that they will continue to support Tinumbu to make him and to ensure that he realize his vision of a safe country and 
they are happy for what he is doing in the state in the country and also they are happy that he wants to inaugurate some projects of a nigerian army government school in castina state that they have pledged their absolute loyalty and now they are repledging to 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 follow him to, to the depressed good and also stand by him to make sure that this country is in a safe place and the projects that the president want to inaugurate is to actually create a conducive learning environment for students we all remember that the president ever since his inauguration he has been sworn in he has been doing things that makes those that did not even support him from the onset are now supporting him and is doing things to ensure that his government is better than his predecessor own. So the Nigerian army added that they will continue to provide their non-kinetic support in all areas, including the healthcare, including infrastructure in the communities where the officers serve. And if the officers are well okay, they'll be able to go and do things, support their leader in order to strengthen ties with the community and Nigerians' overall development. So that is their own message to the presidents, that they are happy and they will continue to allow him to thrive, to make sure that the vision he has to secure a better Nigeria will be achieved. We have come to the end of the news. Dear listeners, what's your view to this? Please share your view in the comment section. Thank you.